Hey, it's HJ, and today, actually, you know what? I wanna, I wanna remember her name. I wanna get it right. Somebody commented and asked me to do this video that I'm about to shoot now, but I can't find their comment on my YouTube. My bad. Whenever I posted this video, the can Christians date non-believers? Should Christians date non-believers? And she commented, uh, can you do a video about a breakup? I just went through a breakup and how to deal with that as a Christian. So I thought that was a great idea. I've been broken up with a few times. It's public knowledge, so I'll say it. Me and Roman actually broke up at one point for like four or five months. And so I just want to use my experience plus scripture and what God teaches us about relationships to really just tackle how to survive and how to address a breakup and being broken up with. Damn. Uh. Okay, so first off, when you get broken up with, like, it sucks for the most part. If you didn't want to be broken up with, if it's not a mutual thing, like, it does hurt, it, it does suck. So I'm not at all throwing that to the wayside and saying, just get over your emotions, get over yourself. Like, no, if you wanna cry, cry. If it hurts, hurt. So I just wanna get that out of the way and just say that I feel your pain, okay? I feel you right here, me and you, I feel that. So first off, how you date will determine how you respond or react to a breakup. And let me explain what that means, okay? So if you throw all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your deepest, darkest secrets, thoughts, feelings, and dreams at somebody while you're dating them in early stages of dating, or maybe that's kind of like not appropriate thing to do yet. You're still learning them. You're still seeing like, is this going to work? You're still seeing, you know, is this the right person for me? Like, do we uh, gel well together? Do we mesh well together? You probably shouldn't be throwing all of your baggage in all of your hopes and all of your dreams and really connecting yourself with that person so deeply so soon. So some of the reasons why we see a bunch of these young girls or really anybody, but it happens a lot in young girls um, on Facebook, they got into a relationship and three weeks later they're getting broken up with and their world is over and they're sobbing and they don't know what to do with themselves and they're completely crushed like not just a little hurt which obviously it hurts to get broken up with but they're completely shattered into a million pieces they don't know which way is up they don't know where to go why that happens is because we so easily attach ourselves to people at times when we don't need to be so deeply attached to them and instead of casting our heart and our dreams and our soul upon the Lord to be like that rock in that person that holds us down and we are looking for a tangible person to grab hold so close to and just like vomit our emotions and our everything onto them and that's super unhealthy if you are emotionally undisciplined in your relationship and you're probably going to be emotionally undisciplined in your breakup like are you seeing the tie together our hope should be in christ alone and that's one of the reasons why people have such hard breakups you cannot let a person especially that early in a relationship be your world because when that person leaves you you put your everything in them so you feel like everything has been taken away from you and it's not made to be like that even being married even after i would have been married to my husband 30 years like he cannot be my all in all my hope better always be in Christ forever and ever and ever. Christ is your hope. Christ is your solid rock. You will be able to get through it no matter what. Now, let me move on. If you have been in a relationship and it's been a while, so like obviously your emotions are going to be deeper with them. They're going to know your hopes. They're going to know your dreams. You did it at a steady pace. You did it at a right pace and you're like, well, that's not really me. I've been with this person for over a year or two years or uh, seven months and you know, we eventually got there, but we did it in a healthy way and Christ is my solid foundation and it still just hurts. Like, what do I do? It, it really hurts. I will tell you from experience, they say time heals all wounds, okay? I'm gonna tell you this. Time does not heal wounds. Time may numb a wound, help you to forget a wound, but only Christ can really heal our hearts and heal our wounds. So one, like put yourself in the hands of Christ and just say, God, like I submit my life to you. If this wasn't what it was supposed to be, then I trust you, Lord. Remember that God is sovereign. And a lot of times people don't like to hear that. Like, don't tell me God's sovereign. That doesn't help me any. And I would say, that's kind of crazy. 
crazy because the fact that our God is a sovereign God should be such a comfort. If our God wasn't sovereign and he was fickle in what he said could either happen or maybe not happen, his promises weren't really secure, like he may have a plan for your life, but then oops, we can kind of jack it up a little bit or we can fail and we can mess everything up because God isn't really sovereign. That wouldn't bring me comfort. But the fact that I can say, wow, this hurts and this sucks and this is pain and this is not what I saw in my future, but God allows, God gives and God takes. So that must mean he has a better purpose for my life. That must mean that that wasn't my spouse. Or maybe that is my spouse, like what happened with Roman, but it just wasn't the right time for us. Roman had to work through some things. We both need to work through some things. So I know what it's like to have to remind yourself that God is good and he is our hope say, okay, God, well, if that's not what I'm supposed to be doing, point me in the direction that I need to go. Not necessarily like, find me into the man, Jesus, but like, okay, what do you want me to do in this time? If I'm not supposed to be in a relationship in this moment, and obviously you're leading me into singleness, like, what do you want me to do? How can I serve you? And taking your mind off of the situation and putting it onto Christ. How can I serve you, God? How can I serve others? How can I love? What can I learn through this? And we take every trial as a blessing, right? Because that's how God refines us and makes us more like him. A lot of times, especially young people, like we're still growing, we're still maturing in Christ. So we don't look at every trial and say, thank you Lord for the opportunity to grow. That's not where our mind and our heart is, but it needs to be. If life was all easy and peaches and roses and walks in the park, we wouldn't really never grow. We wouldn't be tested and our hearts wouldn't be put right in front of our face to see our own sinfulness. So we have to say at some capacity, God, like thank you for this opportunity to learn more about myself. Maybe this boy or this girl was your idol. Maybe you put him or her before Christ, before serving the Lord, serving others, loving the Lord, loving others, and you didn't really realize it. And it wasn't until the breakup, God really took your heart and put it in front of your face and said, look what you're doing. I'm not on the throne of your heart. He or she is like, put me on the throne of your heart. And you can say cherishing you and treasuring you is like the most important thing in the world where maybe it wasn't when you were with this person. Maybe the Lord's just trying to mature you and thank him for that. God allowing this breakup to happen could actually be probably such a grace on your life. Maybe you are living in sin with this person and maybe it's a sexual sin. Maybe it's not a sexual sin. There's more sins in a relationship than just sex, right? Maybe you guys are just not good together. You yell, you cuss, you fight, you scream. You're not building each other up in the Lord. You're not strengthening each other. You're not iron sharpens iron. You just don't work well together but you're just there and it's just happening and nobody's really breaking it off because you know you want to be in a relationship it kind of feels nice and you look back and you realize what was I doing? I was in such sin and I was growing in sin. That relationship wasn't healthy, it wasn't a good thing. Honestly, there's so many angles when it comes to breakups. One thing that I say isn't gonna fit every situation, it isn't gonna cover every inch, nook and cranny of what could be going on in your specific life. So I hope that one of them helped you. It takes a little while, but you do recover especially as a Christian, somebody who understands the world through like a biblical worldview. I love you guys. And if you have any comments or any questions, make sure to put it in the comment section below. Please give me a like, please share on your social media. I really want to be able to use my channel to help as many people as possibly that will watch the videos. All right, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.